Alright guys, I'm here and I'm here to do a review on a new scale I bought for myself. It does your whole basic stuff, your weighing of your weight and everything, but also it does your BMI and your body fat index, which I want to know, and other things which uh, I'll show you in the video. So let's go and check it out. There you have it. As you can see, it's all right, isn't it? I mean, it's it's a big chunky unit. Um, what you have is you got you put your feet here. This is the um, the on button. Just here comes up. Um, you've got there's your memory. I, I think you can hold four people's memory, so that's quite good. There's your BMI and your weight which is good for people who are losing weight because it's more accurate. BMI is not so good if you're gaining muscle because, of course, you're gaining weight. So the BMI readings are not very good because, obviously, they think you're heavier, but you're not heavier because you're just actually putting on muscle, which is heavier than fat. You have got a guest setting, which is just if you're just a normal person who also wants to weigh himself you've got vascal fat that is the the fat around your stomach area it tells you the percentage of that god knows i know that you've got your rm calories that is basically your resting um weight basically when you are not doing anything you burn off so many calories a day between 1,400 and 1,900 calories per day by just doing nothing. This tells you on average what you do. Obviously then you've got the main one I want which is your the body fat. Of course like I've said in other videos I like to show you six pack and everything you really need to be under 15% unless you've got really big abs poking out you're not going to see any sort of definition in your stomach at all so let's see um what it's like in working order oh by the way this is a cool gadget as most scales you that's it of a scale this is the good thing this is how accurate it is this comes up and basically comes up to your own height it it does your height and everything so and these are all obviously sensors and so and that's why they're metal and the the, the bottom bit is sensors um you don't have to use that but it gives you a more accurate reading i mean and also it is I mean, it is a thick, it is quite thick, it's, it's not a little flimsy thing. So, let's go and test it out. Let's go and see how much fat I am and what I weigh. Right. First of all, always use the scales on a flat surface, hard surface. No point doing it on a carpet because it won't measure it out properly. Right, so let's let's test this out and let's put it on my memory because I'm number two. I don't know if this is going to work with just one hand. So. Let's try this. And you see, it's so easy. If you've got a bad back, you don't have to bend down or nothing. I am 75.6 kilograms. Now, it should do the other things. Let's have a look.
Well, wait, wait. Well, obviously it's not doing it because I think you have to have both hands on it. So just wait a second and I'll get the readings up. Right. Yep, I was right. Obviously, you need both hands to have a more accurate reading. As you can see, it is 75.2 kilograms. As you can see, the last time I weighed myself, I was the same weight. So, I haven't gained nothing or lost anything. If I press the other buttons, here's the body. Look at that. Body fat. I am under 15%. That's because I haven't eaten anything this morning. I always recommend to weigh yourself in the morning when you haven't had no food, right? And weigh yourself at least once a week. Don't weigh yourself every day because your, your body goes up and down through the week. One day you could eat something and it'll, it'll put on two or three pounds another day it might not do so I also say always do it once a week so you'll have a proper guideline and an accurate reading um, as we can see the BMI I've gone BMI my BMI well that's not BMI oh that's weight, weight. there's BMI I'm 25.1 BMI, which is okay, I suppose. Could be better, but like I say, I'm not really bothered about that because I'm building muscle, so I'm not losing weight. And then, that's how much calories I'm burning doing nothing, apparently, which is good. Just shows that doing nothing you still burn calories. Everything you do from going, watching TV, going upstairs to the toilet, um, just walking around the house, you, everything you do, you burn calories. So just think you don't have to go to the gym and break a sweat to burn off calories. You are burning off calories all the time, but just make sure you eat. Um, at that in the calories where you're not eating so many calories that it doesn't it won't burn off nothing well there you have it that's the scales and it's worth a buy you're looking around 40 to 70 pounds to buy one of these yes that is a lot of money for scales but you gotta think of what you're getting for your money you're getting a lot for your money like them machines you see in gyms where you weigh yourself for 50p pound. It's basically doing that. But you can keep a track on everything. If you're building muscle and you're trying to lose that body fat to get under a certain percentage, it's good for that. If you're just wanting to lose weight, it's good for that. But it's accurate as well because it has got the sensors to... which. I think help the accuracy a lot better and the, the company do say that it is really accurate and has done lots of tests so we just gotta believe what they say all this the, the script uh, all the description that will be down in the box down below um, so if you liked this video and you want to see more like this Give me a thumbs up, subscribe because there's a lot of content that I'm going to be bringing out this year. Uh, as you know, in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to have a training session with Sean Stafford and you do not want to miss that. So you need to subscribe just if you want to see that video and see some average person who likes the gym going and training with a two-time world champion um, in his ground killing me off so that's worth subscribing for anyway anyway have a good time